Thus far, women aged between 32 and 56 years have been women since they turned 10, and that has been their major source of livelihood. They tell me each of them are able to weave at least three mats every day to be sold on market days. A mat cost between eight and ten cedis. I try to move from five cedia. My baba move them. Garomo asivana, garomo asimovano. Let me do rukuna ino polo polo. Fifty years ago, garomo le, garomo le ma kuasi garomo le kuasi. You can never know what she got. Nelly keke kuasi, ne vo keke, a vo na kra. Muhawa ite pe kafia ba asi ketieta a vo na asi. Garomo le ami po na gaha akono ketie plemi. The Kata municipality in the Volta region is widely known for beautiful, decorative and functionally tight woven straw mats referred to as kechiba in the local parlance. Many women here that are into weaving on this well-watered land of rolling lagoons work mainly from their homes. They have revived what was once a dying craft and turn it into an art of international acclaim, turning and making of Africa straw mat into a home industry to supplement their incomes or serve as a sole source of incomes for many women here. The mats are made by hand, using reeds obtained in the area. The women collect the reeds and hammer them into a fiber. Some of the reeds are dyed to give the final work a taste of creativity. Weaving can be an individual activity, but it is also a social activity where women in a given community collect, prepare materials and weave as a group. Though straw mats have been replaced with mattresses in many homes these days, the mat continue to hold great cultural significance for many Ghanaians, many of whom even use them these days for ceilings, beds and fence walls. In this area, young women usually learn to make straw mats from their mothers, aunties and grandmothers. People from Accra, Kumasi, Koforidia, Togo and Benin visit the Anglonga, Akachi and Dabala markets to buy the mat for various reasons. The women who make the mat, however, think the business may die out if not given the necessary assistance and attention. They want the government and other benevolent organizations to help them acquire modern equipment to help improve the quality of their products. Speaking to the news team, the Ghana Export Promotion Authority's regional head for the Volta and Uti region, Chris Amponsasaki, says his outfit would assess the export potential of the products made by the weavers in the area. Before you can export anything, one that thing must have export potentials. It must be something that uh, wherever you want to export it to, the people over there are interested in. Okay, so if the people are not interested in that product, you can't say that you are exporting it there. Uh, who is going to take it over there? And once they take it, who are they going to sell it to over there? Okay, so if there's no market for it, there is no point exporting it. And so the people must like the thing. And for you to have um, a business person over there who is interested in getting your products from your country. GEPA also intends to work with other stakeholders by bringing the women together to help modify their products and provide them with the necessary tools that will enhance quality of the mats. By what we do, it indirectly impacts on the livelihoods of uh, our clients, okay? Because once we can help them to um, sell their products and their produce, it puts money in their pockets and it ultimately helps to improve their lives. And so it is something that we are very keen about. And so with this story that you have come up with, what we'll do is that GEPA 
uh, in the next few days, we'll also make a trip to the people at the Dabala area there to go and engage them further and to know exactly what their issues are. And uh, the Togo, Burkina Faso, um, uh, traders who have been coming to pick their, their mats, we will see if we can get them, engage them, and to see uh, how best uh, we can cement the relationship. To whip up interest of the youth in the area and beyond, the female weavers wants to train individuals from all walks of life who are interested in the craft. So when next you visit the Vota region, do not hesitate to pass through Adutor and try your hands on mat weaving. <laughs>